Hey, my name is Dan and this is my channel. I love making everyday tech easy. <clears throat> Worked at Apple for 19 years and now I'm in full time ministry. This is a very different video, however, of um, my channel. This is gonna be a little bit more uh, techy video because I've gotten a lot of requests. I made a video, if you haven't checked it out, somewhere up here. Um, I made a shortcut to run on my Apple Watch, on my action button on my Ultra Watch, Apple Watch Ultra 2, that every time I would press the action button, it would run this shortcut, and basically the shortcut will, would cycle through all the different focus modes that I have made. Why? Well, because I have different routines, right? I have a morning focus typically that will populate certain applications, certain actions on my phone, on my watch, on my iPad, etc. And then I have a driving focus and then I have, you know, one at work, so on and so forth. And I'm sure you do too. If you click on this video for sure. Um, so I want to show you how to basically mirror this. So I'm doing it on my Mac. So I'm, I'm screen sharing here and hopefully this will make a little bit of sense. But I went ahead and opened up my shortcuts app and I went ahead and created a brand new shortcut. So the first thing that you need to do once you open up the shortcuts app is you're going to look for just type the word focus. And you'll see here on the right hand side it says get current focus. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that over to the left. And that's going to be the very first set of instructions that this shortcut is going to do. The next thing that you want to do is basically you want to add an if statement. These are all of your options. So I'm going to drag an if condition over and you're going to see it's going to populate different options. And it says here if blank or if icon has any value. Well, the way that focus modes work are typically by name you're going to name your focus mode something different than I did. So I'm going to go ahead and change that from name to, uh, I'm sorry, from icon to name. And then it says here, if is anything. So in my case, I know that my very first focus is morning. So I'm going to go ahead and type the word morning. Here you would type the name of your focus mode. Um, uh, and actually, you know what? Let me, let me pause. Three, two, one. Hey, my name is Dan and today I want to show you how to make a shortcut so that you can automatically switch between focus modes. Um, I love making everyday tech easy. I worked at Apple for 19 years and now I'm actually in full-time ministry. This video is a little bit different from most of my other videos, um, if you haven't checked out my channel, where I typically focus on everyday tech and making it easy. This one, I want to do a, a slightly deeper dive on how I made this shortcut. I made a video about the shortcut, which you will see here in the link below or up above and on one, on one of the YouTube cards. But I want to show you how I did it. So here I am just basically going and I opened up the shortcuts app. Obviously I'm on my Mac. I'm here using a screen recording uh, program. And the very first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a new shortcut. And the first instruction that I want to give it is a get current focus instruction. So I type the word focus and I'm going to drag this over to the left. And the first set of instructions is going to be get current focus. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add an if statement. So I'm going to type the word if. I'm going to drag this underneath the get current focus and a bunch of options are going to come up. The first thing that I want to do is I want to find, I want this shortcut to find out what focus mode, if any, are running. So I'm going to click here where it says icon and I'm going to select focus. And then it says, if current focus has any value, I know it's not, right? Because I'm going to initiate all my focus modes. So I'm going to change that to does not have any value. Follow me so far? Then I need to do something else. So I'm going to go back to focus mode or, or set focus. So I got the current focus mode and now I want to set a focus mode. So I'm going to select this set focus mode underneath the the current focus so it says if current focus does not have any value turn what well in my case I wanted to turn on my morning focus and now there you will see my focuses focus modes but you'll have your own especially if you've already made your focuses so definitely first thing before you even dive deep in this, you have to set your focus modes on your phone, on your Mac, wherever you want to initiate that from. But I want it to be the morning. I want to go morning to then 
you know, YouTube to then, again, I have a sequence of order in which I want. So it says, get current focus. It does not have any uh, value. Turn morning. Well, I wanted to turn it on until turned off. That's it. We've accomplished a simple executable. Now look, my my last video is ready to be posted. So that'll be coming up soon. So now it has the current focus mode. Does not have any value. We're going to go ahead and turn on the morning focus until I turned it off. That's it. You've basically created a shortcut to run this specific focus mode. Now we leave otherwise there. And now we're going to go ahead and add another if statement. And we're going to drop the if statement right there underneath the otherwise. And now we're going to say if the name, click around, is morning, in my case, in your case, it might be working out or whatever, then we want to go ahead and put another focus, set focus, I should say, underneath that line says, and then I want you to, if it is morning, then I want you to turn on then my next focus, right? So I, I click on my action button. It went out. There was no focus mode enabled, right? Because it's, it's the first thing. So it's going to enact or turn on the morning focus mode until turned off, right? I haven't turned it off. It's still running. But now when I click again my action button, this set next set of instructions says, hey, if the focus mode is morning, then I want you to turn on the next focus mode, which in this case, just for demo purposes, I'm going to put YouTube. And I want YouTube to turn on until turned off. You follow me? So right there, we've gave it a set of instructions to go find what focus mode is running. If none are running, then I want you to launch this first focus mode called morning until I turn it off. Otherwise, if the name is morning, then I want you to turn on YouTube and then you can go on to your third focus mode and then your fourth and your fifth. And you can actually go all the way down and you can leave the last one. Otherwise, and if and if you can leave those blank. And then what I would tell you to do is I would probably set your sleep fo uh, sleep focus mode from a s specific time. Let's say you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night and you wake up at 5 a.m. Leave that there because then your morning focus mode will typically happen when you are awake and by then your phone and everything else is coming off of sleep mode. Hopefully this paints a better picture on how to create a focus mode executable through an action button using shortcuts. Whew, try saying that fast five times. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go check out some of the videos. I greatly appreciate the love and support. Peace.